how? <laughs> oh my god, I swear, like, I... How did I know that this was going to happen? Travis Fulgham gets weighed by the Philadelphia Eagles and hoping he makes it back to practice squad. I don't think so. Okay? I don't think that's even close to happening. All right? I'm, you know, from one preseason game, Travis Fulgham gets 40-plus yards on two receptions, one for a touchdown. I, that game saved him. That game actually saved him. It, it actually did. I should have known from the, the dress, re- the so-called dress rehearsal game when he only, when he played what eight snaps. He played eight snaps, and they benched him after the eight snaps because I felt like they were trying to protect him for some reason. They didn't give him more snaps during that dress rehearsal game when they put in those backups. Why? And he only played eight snaps. Obviously, they were protecting him. He was going to make the team. I I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to believe it, but how do you take one preseason game and just think that he's going to do something this year? It's a total opposite of what Travis Fulgham did last year. Travis Fulgham had no, he really didn't have a, he didn't have a good offseason last year. There, I, all, the only time I heard Travis Fulgham's name last offseason is when he, he, we acquired him, and that was it. And then all of a sudden, he came in week four. Obviously, the San Francisco 49er game, comeback win, played for another eight, played for eight games, and was in the leading league in reception, was in yards, and what? And obviously, he got hurt, you know, tried coming back, but then veteran favoritism, Alshon Jeffrey, Deshaun Jackson came back, you know, and he barely had a couple snaps here and there at the end of the year. And that was it. He could have had, he could have had it close to 1,000 yards last year. Could have had, he actually, if he played the rest of the games, probably would have had more yards. And you're taking one game that J.J. had in preseason against... I don't even know the guy's... The corner's name. Okay? Should have known this was going to happen. Should have knew this was going to happen. This was a Howie Roseman move. Okay? I don't know if Nick actually thinks he has talent. Is it? Is it Howie Roseman that override this... This spot and said, We need to keep J.J. on the roster? Because to me, this is more of a Howie Roseman-esque move. I don't know. He, you know, Travis Fulgham didn't, like, th- this is what I'm saying, guys. Like, do you take one preseason? And look, J.J.'s rookie year had a good preseason. What th- what happened with that? I have no idea. He played against a starting, he played against a backup to a starting cornerback against the Steelers, at least close to it, in this preseason, the first preseason game. And he had, what, one target and was covered on it. Couldn't get separation. Then he goes to this uh, game late in the game and during the last preseason game against the Patriots, whatever, okay? Or the Jets, whatever. I don't even know anymore. And puts on this clinic that we're, we're, I mean, surprised as we were. Trust me, when it happened, when he caught that ball, 50-50 ball, and then, you know, outran the guy and, and scored a touchdown. That that makes you that good? That makes him make the roster because of that? I thought it was, it was at least going to be John Hightower or Travis Fulgham. I said, you know what? I got to relax. Could be all, you know, maybe they're, they're going to take a little bit longer to make this decision today. But no, it was pretty quick. I, I don't know. Travis Fulgham, look, I'll, I'll say this. He had a couple okay days. He had a few good days at training camp. Out of all the days of training camp, only had a few good days. Didn't really hear much. Even the joint practices didn't hear anything. But nothing from J.J. Ortega Whiteside either. <laughs> I mean, nothing from him either. You know what I mean? They've been lying J.J. in the slot, the outside. I don't know what they're doing with him. If you think Travis Fulgham's going to make it back to practice squad, you're out of your mind. If he does, I'll be shocked. Keep him on practice squad long enough. He's gonna he's gonna go somewhere. Okay. Between him and Alex Singleton were the two gems I saw last year in 2020. As bad of a year as it was, okay. But this right here, I don't agree with it. I just don't. 
Maybe the coaches see something that we don't. Maybe they're seeing more behind-the-scenes stuff that we don't see. I don't know. Rookie year, horrible. Uh, last year, obviously, High Roseman wanted to give. He, he expected big things out of J.J. Ortega Whiteside. And we year two. Now going on to year three. And the last preseason game. And he does almost one good thing. I'm not saying catching a first down pass gets you on a team because it shouldn't. But getting a touchdown, obviously, it opens everybody's eyes and says, whoa. But still, is that really enough? What type of value are you what type of value are you taking from it? From a guy in Travis Fulgham that literally made no noise in preseason last year and then exploded on the field to a guy now that the last preseason game he scores one touchdown and it's like he makes it. So, you know, I'm not really happy about it. I'm not because I think it's total BS, but look, if if the guy plays well, I don't wish nothing bad about people or players on this team. Like, I want everyone to play well. And trust me, JJ take a white side, I wish and hope that he plays well. Never happened. Maybe this new coaching staff gets something out of him. I don't know what the case is. I'm not going to lie. I don't like this. I'm not going to like it until he actually plays well. And trust me, I'm not holding my breath on it because I just don't trust it. He might not even play anyway. I don't know if Nick Sirianni has, a, you know, he has some certain skill set that he's going to use and maybe throw him in a couple games. I don't know what he's doing with him. But this right here might be a huge mistake. Fogum would have been a great backup receiver if he didn't even start. Reliable, but not a strong camp. Not a strong camp last year for Fogum. I'll say this a million times. Not a strong camp for Fogum last year. But he, look what he did on the field. But then this guy and JJ Umbrella Man will get eight snaps for a game get benched like he's already made the roster. I felt like he I felt like he made the roster so much earlier that I I don't know. I I, I like how, how do you value this? Like how do you evaluate like who you know is going to make it? Like how do you evaluate? It? I know it's a year to year league, okay? So I can't be like, "Oh, well, Charles Fulgham did good last year, so he should make the team this year." I mean, that's what you would expect, but it, but that's not the case. Because Travis Fulgham literally did nothing in preseason. But J.J. really didn't do much more. What, he scored a touchdown. Okay. Okay, that's it. Scored a touchdown against nobodies. I don't know. It, it confuses me. I'm not sure. But it's a shame. And hopefully, you know, hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully, you know, maybe J.J. does something great. But. I have no faith in it. I just don't. All I'm going to do is watch and hopefully sit back and laugh when he doesn't do anything this year. While Travis Logan goes to another team, gets a backup job, maybe because of injury, he moves up on a roster and puts in work. So, let me know in the comment section below, guys. Hear your feedback, as usual. I'll see you guys later. Shakes what up, follows five. Peace out, guys.